Hello and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. I want to go ahead and I realized I have never made one a video of just applying epoxy. So I did a flood coat on this one but it has cellophane on it um, and in the prior video I showed you where if you have a lip of it with the chemical reaction it lifts up. So let's see if I can roll it sideways and see. You can see like little bumps to where it lifted up. Now I sanded down the rough spots. Um, I didn't have to sand down this side. Um, I am going to be using a fast set epoxy. But after you sand, you can't really see, but there's a little bit of a white residue. Let's see, right there. And you want to wipe it off with alcohol after you sand it down. And I like to use a little spray bottle. And you'll see it get really glossy white. And then it'll fade back. Alright, I like to do this after I sand. Alright. And now I am going to put about 15 mLs back in here. And I want to, uh, a lady had asked, come in the store and asked me if I weigh my products. No, I do not weigh my epoxy because B is lighter than A. Um, so you just want to make sure that your level, whenever you are using these, so I am going to usually like to do with this is I like to keep these medicine containers and I use one popsicle stick for each one. Well, unfortunately, I only have one popsicle stick today. So I'm going to go ahead and do the mixing and everything. Um, there are a lot of beginners that are doing this. And my little tip is I like to put B in first if I'm mixing them into another cup um, just because B is a little bit more, B is the one that will color, okay? And it's a looser, not as thick as A. So I like to put that in there because if not, this is so thick, if you whip around, you may not get it all the way mixed. And if you don't and you put it on your cup, it is not going to cure. And be mindful if you are are wiping it off on the um on the sides, you want to make sure that you get all of it that you can out of it. That way it is an equal part mix. And any epoxy, does not matter what you have, you need to at least mix it for about two minutes. All right. And so I like to get that side on my cup so that way it's going down. And you will see how it will turn milky white. Some epoxies will turn clear once the reaction is done. This epoxy does not. It will, this epoxy will be white and creamy with a lot of bubbles. Don't worry about the bubbles because I will pop those with a torch. Um, some people like to spray alcohol on them. I have just been popping mine with torches lately and because the heat will move it and move those bubbles up as to where you may have a some bubbles up underneath that do not move once you spray that alcohol on there and I have found that if you um, if you do a a spray on a thicker coat 
you will find that the bubbles will not move and if you do it on a facet um, sometimes you'll get pits to where I don't know if it's the epoxy that repels from it or if the facet because there are a few out there that um, I've found in 30 minutes um, they have begun to to where you can touch them so I try not to do that and I will do the do the torch method you can use a uh, epoxy mixer if you would like now some epoxies you will mix and you'll see this reaction and you keep mixing until it is clear. Um, this epoxy is not like that. Alright, it is a fast set. Alright, and I see one more issue that I need to... Okay. I see a little bit in here. And it's just easier if I spray it. In there because it did not. There we go. I believe that got it. Okay. that air dry to make sure that I don't have any epoxy in there because we don't I mean uh, alcohol all right okay so this is going to be milky and that's just the way that this epoxy works and I like to have it roll this way because I like to let's see if I can I'm going to have to tilt it just a little bit. And then I like to hold it in my hand and let it just rub across it just to get a little bit of a coat. And my last thing that I do is do my bottom. And I will go back over it one more time and push it up and push it down. But once I'm finished with this cup and I'm happy with it, I take my finger and I just slightly rub the bottom. That way I don't have any drips. All right. So I'm going to go over it one more time. See where that's milky. And it will be milky for a few minutes because it has all those air bubbles in it. And another thing that I want to concentrate on is I'm trying to push all this up so that way the epoxy will get in contact and stick to the metal of the tumbler, the stainless steel. All right. I like to take, it's just a little torch, and I'll go around it one time, and the key to this is, I like to concentrate on something, so see either the nut or the bolt, um, and then that way I know I've went around it one time. On regular epoxy, not fast set, um, I will come back in 15 minutes and I will pop it again, but with a fast set, you don't want to do that because then you are just going to there's parts that are already starting to cure and if you heat it up you may get bumps and ridges in there so I like to whoop. and this is going to help 
This is going to help pop those bubbles and it's going to help level that out. But you need to do that in the first few um, minutes of, especially if you're dealing with a facet. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please um, comment below, and I would be glad to answer any questions that you have. All right, I hope this helps someone. Thanks. Have a great day.